everyone, what's going on? Got another quick video clip for you guys here. So today at Safari Reptiles, we'll be pulling this clutch from this female black magic, which um, is a Mojave black pastel female. We bred a special to her. So we're going to have our first chances at producing some uh, crystals this year because uh, special works with Mojave just like um, yellow belly works with Spectre. They, it will basically make um, an animal that kind of acts like a super. Um, the crystal is only able to produce specials and Mojaves. So, and then obviously what we're looking to get is the um, the black pastel crystal. So, um, before I get this female off her eggs, I'm gonna say that I'm very happy to see that this female went this year. This is an animal that we um, hatched out either two and a half or three years ago. Um, this was one of the really special animals that we first hatched out here, um, a black magic. You don't, you don't see this morph too often. Um, you do sometimes see the savanna, which I believe is the, um, the cinnamon Mojave, uh, but basically they kind of look the same. Uh, really nice looking animals when they're, uh, when they're first born, and uh, as they get older, they stay a pretty nice color as well. As you can see here so actually gonna show you guys um, our incubation box that we use here this is a sim container um, now typically what you're gonna see is that most people they don't use any substrate at all when they're using a sim container but us we um, we have like so much vermiculite here that we decide to use vermiculite at the bottom and then we put the grills on top and uh, we've had really good uh, hatch rates with this uh, actually our hatch rate is probably nearly a hundred percent uh, assuming the eggs are fertile. So never had a problem. Uh, we've been using these sim containers with vermiculite with the grills on top for uh, the last uh, four or three years. So anyways, gonna get the snake off the eggs. Just gonna position my phone here. So typically what you wanna do is you wanna try to find the head of the female and this girl is not too mean at all, so she's gonna let me take the, oh, wow. Five eggs for a uh, first time. That's very good for um, a first time breeder. Now I'm gonna show you guys this here, if you could see, I'm not too sure because of where the phone is, but you guys could see it's completely concave her, uh, her stomach. And you wanna make sure it's like that. You wanna make sure there's no eggs that are still in her. Because sometimes what could end up happening actually is that if you disturb the female before she's done laying is that she'll actually become uh, egg bound and then you're going to usually need a vet to help you out with that. So we're going to actually take this female out here and we're going to put her in this bin I have set aside here for her. And we're going to take the eggs out. And the reason why I'm going to put her in this bin is because later on I'm actually going to rinse her off in uh, warm water and I'm actually going to remove everything that you see in the cage here. So I'm going to change the substrate, change the water bowl, everything. I'm going to spray it down with a F10 disinfectant. I'm going to basically try to get rid of all trace of the eggs, the smell and whatnot, because sometimes like, let's say, you know, this bin is still pretty clean. Let's say I were to just take the eggs and put her back in here. Uh, she may like not eat for like a couple weeks and she'll probably sit in the bin uh, like she would if she was holding on to the eggs. Um, so you want to just remove the eggs and um, make sure the cage is completely disinfected so that she's not uh, still thinking that she's incubating her eggs or she's not looking around the bin for her eggs. So, and the reason why we do this guys by the way is just you get a much higher hatch rate and you get the female to eat as soon as uh, possible when you take the eggs from the female and artificially uh, incubate them. Um, better hatch rate and like I said just better overall for the female you can start getting her to put on uh, weight as fast as you can because um, typically they lose anywhere between 30 and 40 percent of their total body weight when they uh, lay their eggs so you guys will also see that the eggs are all attached together see so sometimes you'll have one that is de that's detached and then you'll have to make sure that you're either using like clothespins or something like that to block the eggs from rolling around. And all I'm going to do here right now, because you can see these sim containers are pretty big, so you can usually fit two small clutches. 
Uh, typically ball pythons are going to have anywhere between, like, I would say the average clutch that we have had is four to probably eight eggs. Uh, we do have certain animals that will lay more than that, you know, between eight and uh, our biggest clutch ever was 13 eggs. So that would fill this up completely, but we'll probably be able to add another clutch in here. So for that reason, and uh, for our records, I will actually write the date, which today is... Uh, May 13th, Friday the 13th, believe it or not, so kind of cool that we got some eggs. Uh, what's interesting is it's actually raining here. So typically whenever ball pythons are like either holding on to their eggs, uh, waiting to drop them, or even um, when you have ball pythons that they don't lock up, typically whenever there's a storm in the area, they tend to like either lock up with the males or uh, lay their eggs it's kind of weird how that works out but so may 18th and then i'm going to write what this is and this is a black magic so bm and this is clutch number three so i'm also rather than like writing a whole bunch of stuff on the eggs i'm just going to put three 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 and these will probably hatch out between 55 and 60 days from now so hoping we hit on the triple which is the uh, special Mojave black pastel which would be a uh, a black crystal so hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you haven't already and uh, please follow us on Facebook facebook.com slash safari reptiles thanks guys take care